Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. I am Q, and I am here to do a general reading for our beloved Scorpios. This will be a general reading, so you all know. Eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This is also going to be a timeless reading, so whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. I do call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Baba Shango, Baba Ogun, Baba Orula, Mama Yemenya, Mama Oya, Mama Oshun, and Baba Alegua to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so more it be, Ashe. I call also upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Metatron to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so more it be, Ashe. For all of you who are new, welcome, beloveds. I am Q, as I said, I am also a Scorpio, and I'm clairaudient, so I incorporate music into the readings, and they just blend. They blend together. It's magic. <laughs> right now, we have the Grave Diggers, and it's a Diary of a Madman. So, Diary of a Madman. Somebody could be... Literally, I keep uh, seeing the picture, like the the vision in my mind's eye of someone like penning a letter in the late hours, you know, up in the wee hours of the night, but um, refusing to send it, wanting to say something. But it says diary of a madman. So they almost it's almost as if they're going crazy or they're kind of like they're at their wits end. I'm hearing. And my throat chakra is trying to block up. So this person is choked up, not communicating or expressing their true feelings, not communicating or expressing. Perhaps there's an apology that they owe you. Perhaps this is someone who did not take responsibility, perhaps in a relationship, in a connection. I feel someone's definitely getting a lot of downloads during this um, this full moon. A couple of cards just slipped away, slipped away. So let's see what they are. So you guys can't get away from this energy. A lot of you all definitely are coming into some sort of increase financially. There's some sort of fortune windfall. There's some sort of abundance, and this is from your hard work. And we have Mama Oshun. So this is the same energy from the last reading. And then we have accept the apology you never received and take your power back now. So I feel like that's what you all did. You all may have accepted the apology that you never received from this person who could be going through something mentally, suffering from ruminating, suffering from, you know, deep regret, I'm feeling. And the song that's playing right now is Nas, Bye Baby. So I feel like a lot of you set up boundaries. You started to love yourselves. With this Mama Oshun, I feel like you guys mustered up the courage, Scorpios, to walk away from a connection that was not serving your highest good. You walked away from someone who wasn't treating you right. And when you walked away, you was rewarded. The divine blissed you with power, you know, a, a, a pay increase of some sort. There's some sort of windfalls of money. And I feel like you're starting to attract what you are now because you started to believe in your own power and maybe somebody now is watching you you know they're watching you literally shine so let's tap in tune in see somebody was playing a lot of childish games and now there's regret because you all disconnected you move you, you you retreated you know you set a boundary you wasn't going to continue to play those little foolish games and you said bye baby Nas is playing right now bye baby so the bottom of the deck, overall enemy energy. Look at this. I said enemy. So this is an enemy. And remember, we just had madman, diary of a madman playing. So this person could be, you know, I was saying that they was penning a letter uh, and, and, and ripping it up. But they're probably like sitting around trying to strategize how to take you down. 
because we have frenemies. They don't really rock with you like that. And it, you know what I'm saying? So you, you have to be mindful. This is someone that you left and said, deuce, peace. I wish you well, peace be unto you, you know. But this person is now upset because you've set that boundary because you're not playing the game anymore. They feel foolish because you seen them for who they are. I feel like this person was able to get away with it for a long time until they couldn't anymore because you woke up. You know, Mama Oshun taught you to love yourself. And as you love yourself, you started to set your guard up, your boundaries. You started to, you know, realize that you, you couldn't settle for less. And so now that person has become a frenemy. They're smiling in your face, but deep down in their heart. And that's who the, the Most High, the God in you is speaking to the heart. That's God speaks to the heart of man. So this person can't trick the Most High into, you know, thinking that they really have good intentions when they don't. So if God can speak to the heart of man, the divine is telling you that this is a front of me and they don't really rock with you like that. And I feel like a lot of you already know. And that's why you said, bye, baby, I got to go. I can't do this. I can't I can't have this song and dance with you anymore. You know what I'm saying? For some of y'all, it's coming up on 30, 40 years. Y'all been going through the same song and dance. They trying to drive you crazy because they're emotionally disturbed and imbalanced. And we have blocka, blocka, blocka. I think snata. So you definitely have blocked this person. That's why you was like, bye, baby. And so now they're trying to conjure up revenge. I'm hearing revenge. They want to get some sort of revenge. They want to take out their frustration on you. Because whatever they thought was better than you, they realize nothing's better than you. And now that they're trying to come back to save face, it's like you're, you're not interested anymore. And you're blocking them. And you're too busy manifesting new stuff. You got laws of attraction here. So you're manifesting your actual dreams and desires. That's why that promotion pay increase card keeps showing up because you're attracting new things into you. And look what's right underneath that. Deception, tricknology, the illusionist. Be very, very weary. Can't be trusted. So if somebody returns during this Mercury retrograde slash full moon cycle, just know that they are a frenemy and they're someone that you cannot trust. And this isn't even the pr they pray and pray on your downfall. And a, a group of cards just literally fell out of my hand. So I feel like these are your messages. I'm going to take them. The divine is telling you to block. Block whoever's coming in. Block whoever's trying to wiggle their way back in. Because the divine is saying nothing has changed with this person. And we got mob deep playing get away. So this person's trying to come back and get away with all of the things that they did in the past. So they might come back. And trying to act like they want to rebuild with you, but they don't want to address anything from the past. And if a person doesn't want to take accountability and responsibility, they have not grown. And so you have, I want to get to know you better, di better digging on you. So this is some of the tricknology that they may play. Remember the divine said deception, tricknology, the illusionist. Remember this card. And what was I telling you about somebody having a guilty conscience? For how they treated you. And they're only guilty because they realize what they've lost. They see you shining now. They see you receiving rewards, recognition. You're getting some sort of blessings. There's some sort of wish fulfillment. There's some sort of abundance coming in for you. So now they feel sorry because they're not able to sit there and, and bask in all of that with you. But this person may come back and say, look, you know, can we rekindle? You know, it may even invite you to do things that you... You know, that they never would do with you before, but it's all tricknology. And then you have basic instructions before leaving Earth, seeking higher knowledge. This is what you all did. And this is why and how you were able to, you know, discern what this person's intentions are. I feel like a lot of you sought higher knowledge after you were deceived by this past person. A lot of you started to tap into your spirituality, started to connect with your higher self, started to make deeper connections with universe source started to ground yourself go out in nature more started to do meditation more started to do yoga you started to do the things that would make you feel more connected to the divine basic instructions before leaving earth some of you started to read your bible started to you know recite psalm 23 a lot of you started to connect more to spirituality calling upon your angels asking for strength we have mirror reflects. Can they be a reflection or the shadow side of you? Check yourself. 
So I feel like in the past, this is what this person was. This person was a mirror. They held up a mirror. And that mirror reflected to you who you were at the time when you met them. So a lot of you had a lot of flaws. We all have flaws. It's nothing to be, you know what I'm saying, embarrassed about. You know what I'm saying? Ashamed of. It's like this person came into your life at a time, a dark period in your life. And these are things you had to work through. And now with Mama Oshun showing, you've learned self-love. You've learned to value yourself. You've taken your power back. You've become illuminated. You've standing erect, standing strong. You're demanding your respect, demanding that others re re treat you in the way that you're treating yourselves. But I feel like, you know, the divine is also reminding you to block this negative energy because this person is very deceptive. And this is someone who wears a mask. So they will put on any mask to deceive in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So the first card that came out is, I want to get to know you better. And then we have frenemies right next to that. Not so. He don't really want to get to know you better. And then we have basic instructions before leaving earth and mirror reflects. And remember, the divine is telling you to block. Okay. And get away. <laughs> divine is telling you, get away quick. Get away from that energy. You don't need to be around somebody like that. That's what you all did anyway. See this? This person's flighty. In and out. And they're impulsive and they're unreliable. So this person would definitely come in and try to sweet talk you. You know what I'm saying? These are people who would try to, you know, they talk because they have lips. They're very deceptive. They say things just with the intention of getting what they want. So they'll say anything they think that you want to hear. But deep down, the divine is saying, this is a friend of me. And so if they're a friend of me, this is someone pretending to be a friend. But they're really your enemy. So this is covert you know, intention here to make you think that they want to get to know you, that they care, that they're interested. But all they're trying to do is dig into your business and pull you away from whatever spirituality, whatever centeredness, whatever groundedness that you have um, tapped into because they know that, you know, you are very divinely protected, very, very spiritual, very connected to source. And they feel like if they can like play with your mind and, and, and get you out of that, that, that high that you're in by being very spiritual, by being, you know, tapped into that Christ consciousness, that they can come back and deceive you, pull a trick knowledge on you. You know what I'm saying? Because the mirror, it reflects. So if this person's coming back, they're trying to bring that shadow aspect of yourself because they see that you're doing your work, that you're balancing yourselves emotionally and that you're healing at a soul level. And so with this flighty energy, this person is going to come in, play the game, pull strings, try to do whatever to throw you off your path. And once they see that they've been successful, they're going to be right back out. They're going to dash on that ass. So you got to be very mindful not to just let anybody in. And we have um, Uncle Murder and Cameron, and this is called um, Voice. So listen to your, the, your inner voice. Listen to that inner gumption. Be, decept de be um, discerning. Excuse me. See, I, I said deceptive. So this person is definitely deceptive that's coming in. So divine spirit of love and light. And so we have Karma Dharma. You reap what you sow. And it says sowing good. Sowing in good faith. So I feel like this is your your karma is going to be that you're going to overcome. You know, saying that you're going to defeat this person because you have been righteous. You've been just. And so everything's going to be handled fairly and justly. While on the other side of the spectrum, this person who's bringing this to you, they're receiving karma, which is why they're very upset, which is why they're trying to figure out some way to take you down, because they're blaming you for their misdeeds, for whatever it is that the divine is doing to get them to wake up they're not picking up on it and they're really going to be mad because you're coming into a time where you're going to be connecting with someone that is on your vibration frequency wavelength someone that speaks the same love language someone that's coming in to add to add on and not take away and the divine is saying this is wish fulfillment it says dreams don't forget them they are more than something you wake up from believe so because you believe, because you held on to hope, because you never let up, because you were resilient, 
because you continue to work on yourself. You know, this mirror, this is in the middle. So this is, you know, the heart of the matter. Once I put this card there, this will be the middle card. And so the divine is saying, because you've worked on this situation, your shadow side, because you've been doing that dark night of the soul work and you've been on the spiritual journey and you've been connecting to a higher power and connecting to your spirituality, this is why you're going to now start receiving this love and happiness, a spiritual union, a divine partner. This is something that you have dreamt about, something you have been manifesting, praying for, wishing for, hoping for. You've been setting affirmations. You've been writing down manifestation in your manifestation journals, what you desire, how the person looks, what their attributes and characteristics are. And the divine is saying, look, don't forget about that dream, that dream or that, that, that desire you had a couple of years ago when you wrote down in your journal what you wanted because now they're coming into fruition. That's why I was saying you're being rewarded. And it says you are beauty in every fashion of the word, internal and external. Someone is now getting this memo a little too late. And they know that if they could see the beauty in you, others can as well. And they also know that they don't want to lose you. But their games, their technology has caused them to lose you. I feel like you are absolutely getting what you deserve because you've gone through the dark aspects of this. You've, you've, you've defeated that, that aspect of yourself, that side of yourself that was self-loathing, that side of yourself that was insecure, that lacked confident, that didn't really know your worth and value because you settled for so much in that former relationship. I feel like now you're coming into a spiritual union because you found love of self. And now you're going to find a partner that's going to come in and match your fly. This is harmony. This is a spiritual connection, a spiritual union. And this is something that you dreamt of. This is something that you even have been manifesting during this full moon cycle now. You've been asking the divine to send you a partner that is going to appreciate you for who you are. Who's going to see you, the true you. And this is why the divine is saying you are beauty in every fashion of the word, internal and external, because someone is coming in and they're going to appreciate who you are. They're not going to look at you and make you feel insecure by saying things like, oh, you should do this. Or if only if you did this, you would be perfect. They're not going to play on your insecurities. That's projection. That's someone trying to plant seeds to make you feel less than so that they can render some sort of control over you. But you have to know your own worth and value. You can't listen to someone else's opinion of you and let that reign supreme over your own opinion, over your own feelings of yourself. And we have Joey Badass, Save the Children. So I feel like for you all, this person that's coming in, they're going to be like, they're going to be very empathic, very caring. This may be someone who may be like a counselor, a child's counselor, a social worker. Maybe they work with children. They could be a teacher of some sort. I feel like this person absolutely is going to like, they're going to compliment you. You're going to compliment one another. I feel like this person absolutely is going to like be able to see right through you in a good way. Like they're going to see the goodness of who you are. They're going to appreciate that. And this is a part of your karma. You reap what you sow. And I feel like, you know, with it's not what you think, further, investigated needed, further investigation needed. Some of you all might be a little apprehensive. You might be a little sussy, if you will. And that means suspect. Like, you might not be as receptive when this person comes in because of what you've dealt with in the past, because of that mirror you know, re mirrored reflection of who you were dealing with before that person, that karmic. And that's why the divine is saying, look, don't forget your dreams because this person coming in is absolutely going to seem too good to be true because this is what you've manifested. And here it is in, in real time, you know, and it's, it's because you're radiating love and light. And now you're attracting what you radiate. You attract what you are. In the past, when you were in that low vibration, you attracted this low vibrational energy to you. 
and they were very, I'm hearing incubus, succubus. Some of y'all were, you know, just giving it up to anybody back in the past. You know, a lot of people love to, to um, speak of how sexual Scorpios are, but those are Scorpios who may be in a lower vibration because they don't really know the power of sex. They don't really know the power of, you know, that, that act. That's a very magical act. That's a very magical thing, you know, but when you know the power of it and you know the exchange that happens when you engage in it, you're more mindful of who you engage in sexual activities with. So many of you are start, you know, you, you, you absolutely could be celibate. You could be going on one, two years. I'm seeing one, two, two years of no sex. And we have right now, Old Dirty Bastard, Get Your Money, featuring Khalees. So that's what a lot of you did. A lot of you weren't focused on relationships, sex. A lot of you focused on your finances, your stability, your security, your independence, being self-reliant, making sure that you had everything you needed. And we have Black Sheep La Minaj. And it's because many of you were definitely railroaded. I heard the word railroaded. You know, when you're the black sheep, this is, you know, misunderstood and Mr. Understood. People just don't get your, your, your brilliance. They don't get your mind because you're too damn deep. You're too intuitive. They think you're crazy. They think you're conspiracy theorists because you could see so far into the future. And sometimes people's minds can't wrap around what you're seeing until five years later. They'd be like, you know what you said five years ago? That shit absolutely undubitably happened. And you'd be like, I know. <laughs> you ain't even like you're not even bothered because you know like not to even get affected when people don't believe or trust your word you don't even let it bother you no more because you know who you are because when you are tapped into your higher self that Christ consciousness you already got to download the transmissions you already know what it is because you're connecting to a higher realm of spirituality a higher source of 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 outformation information so you don't even need other people to validate or confirm what it is that you already know intuitively. And this is what you're attracting. Someone that's going to see that, know that, and love that about you. They're going to love that attribute because they too have been the black sheep. The misunderstood or Mr. Understood in their families, in their friendships, circles. And this is all, you know, this is a part of your destiny because this was meant for you to start owning your power. Mirror reflects. So when you start attracting people on a higher vibration, that's a reflection of where you're vibrating. If you still attracting people who want some da dun da dun shit, then that means that you might need to do a little more soul search and a little more healing because people will come back and try to throw you off course. That's why the divine is saying, you know, that giving you the warning shot, letting you know not to fall for the okie doke. And you already should know that during Mercury retrograde, when old people start coming back, they only coming back to trigger you. They're only coming back to see if you absolutely healed from that trauma that you experienced in the past. And so you got to do your due diligence and you got to question with, you know, yourself. And so with Karma Dharma, you're going to receive some sort of positive, you know, there's, there's something positive coming in for you because you all have been doing the work. You haven't been pretending, you know, a lot of people pretend to be, you know, changed individuals, but they're not. Look what you have on the bottom of the next deck. You have bright future, infinite supply, no need to worry, better days ahead, success, security, stability, attracting all that you desire. This is the rewards that are coming in for you, Scorpio. And this is what happens when people don't see what they have until it's gone. The rare gems. And this is why this person is resorting to trying to conjure up plans. These past people, because they're absolutely watching you because you've already cut your you know, cut ties with them so they're not a part of your life. Some of you could be the, you know, the children's mother to this person's child or the mother to this person's child. Or for some of you fellas, this could be the mother of your child. 
A lot of you are very, very protective of your babies. You're very maternal right now. Some of you could be pregnant with child. You're very fertile at this time, so be careful. Many of you have been spiritually guided, divinely protected on this path. That's why you have basic instructions before leaving earth because you called upon a higher power. You tapped into that Christ consciousness. You called upon your angels, your deities, your spirit guides, your ancestors. And as you called on them, they came. So many of you were seeing a lot of signs, synchronicities, receiving downloads through dreams, transmissions. And I feel like whoever you was dealing with was an attention whore. They sought the attention of other people to feel validated. And that's what I was picking up on. They went to a different, you know, to a whole different situation. Thought it was going to be better. And foolishly, so they left. They left a connection that was absolutely divine. They didn't see your beauty. Now they do when it's too late. Because now they realize your beauty in every fashion of the word. Internally and externally. And these are things they overlooked. Things that they thought that, you know, they would always have. You know, because when someone gaslights for years, they think that they're going to always maintain that power. When someone's a narcissist, they think that they're always going to have some sort of control. You know, because they use manipulation tactics, gaslighting tactics. And a lot of you are being watched, stalked, spied on. This person keeps tabs on you. They watch you. They're learning you. They're studying you. You know, this is someone studying. Very calculating energy. And that's why it says here, I want to get to know you better. Digging on you. And this person's definitely watching you, trying to get to know you better, trying to get to know what your triggers are, trying to learn how you, where you are mentally right now, you know, trying to be, you know, because if they do come back, they want to have something that's going to make them seem like they're on the frequency, you know, so they're going to say things that are very familiar to your own, you know, um, speech pattern, if you will. So they may say certain words to trigger, you know, this this feeling like, oh, wow, OK, they grew or, oh, wow, they're on the same frequency. So they may say words that they see you saying on your your social media platforms. So if you say words like manifesting or you you have a certain diet dialogue, you know what I'm saying? If you're speaking more about spirituality, then they're going to they're going to come back trying to um, seem familiar just so they can wiggle their way in. And that's why the divine is saying, friend of me, they're giving you the forewarning. Like they're, they're only pretending just to get in, you know, it's just like, you know, it, it's, it's like a parasite. Once it gets in, it could just like, it could destroy from the inside. And remember you had flighty. So once they get in and they, they, they are able to conquer whatever it is, or achieve that initial goal, which is to just get in where they fit in and you accept them in, then they're going to just like, it's going to be cancerous. It's just like, they're going to like literally destroy from the inside. And we have cool Keith rockets on the battlefield. So what was I saying? They're going to blow shit up. They're going to destroy what you have been building. So that's why you have to be mindful, but you are spiritually guided and divinely protected. And I feel like a lot of you are already highly, in tune, you're, you're on the frequency, so you're not going to get duped. But this is for some of you who may still be doing the soul work. You know, some of you need to hear this because somebody is going to seem like they've changed only to reel you into, you know, that toxic, that toxicity once again. So you got to be very mindful. Divine wants you to know it was all growing pains. Nothing happens to you, it happens for you. So... Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, Scorpios. Remember that. See that? Your biggest fans are those upseething at your ascension. Hater alert. So this person is pretending. Pretending to be proud of you. Pretending to congratulate you. But deep down, they're seething. When you're seething, you're angry. You're frustrated. Remember when we first started the reading, it said Diary of a Mad Man. And that was by Grave Diggers. So this person is trying to dig your grave. But the grave they dig for you, they're going to fall into because that's how it works. So someone's trying to set you up and you gotta be mindful. And this is someone who's studying you, watching you. And right now we have Wu-Tang fourth chamber. So fourth chamber, 
you got to be prepared. Fourth chamber, my son is in karate. I've been learning a lot about chambers. And this is all about, it's about a, a, um, having your defense, your defenses up, but having like, it's like lock and load. So be protective, have your defenses up, your guards up. Do not let anyone penetrate with words. Words mean nothing. Don't get all bedazzled. Don't get all googly eyed because somebody's texting you words or saying words and you don't see no action, no change behavior. That's gaslighting, that's manipulation, and that's someone trying to just pump, they're pump faking. So we have Wu-Tang Clan, fourth chamber. So you have to be mindful to keep your guard up, keep your defenses up against this person. Ashe. So we have here, look at this. You have people who are in secret competitions with you. Keep your business to yourself. So look at that. What was I saying about keep your guards up, your defenses up, fourth chamber? And then we have, you have people. So this, these are individuals. These, you got a lot of um, secret haters, a lot of people jealous of you. I don't know whatever you're doing. If you're doing things online, people are stalking you, watching you. And I do call upon your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, spirit team, Archangel Mikael, Baba Ogun, Baba Shango, to protect our Scorpios. I also call for you to also protect yourselves. Make sure that you do that. Look at that. The ancestors approve, they are pleased. So the ancestors, I didn't even see that. So the ancestors approve the, 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 what you're doing. And they're pleased with you, so they're definitely going to protect you. But these people are very, very, like, they're miserable. Misery loves company. So because they're miserable, because you have created a boundary, because you have set your, your boundaries up and you are not allowing them to penetrate, they're, in, they're, they're mad at you. Some of you are very successful. Remember the promotions pay increase card came out? So some of you all, you're looking like money, smelling like money. Things are looking up for you, and people are very jealous. And they're going to come around acting like they're congratulating you, but they're really secretly hating and preying on your downfall. But your ancestors, your spirit team sees everything and you feel everything. It says, what does their energy speak to your spirit? And that's what I was telling you all to do, to pay attention to the energy of people. Be discerning. Don't get excited by words. Your ancestors are here protecting you, though. So you needn't worry. But these people are very much competitive. you got competition. So whatever you're doing, I don't know if you got an online business, if you have businesses, if you just launch a biz, a, a launched a business, if you do tarot readings, if you have a YouTube channel, if you have a TikTok channel, if you do have a popular Instagram or Facebook with over 10,000, I don't know why I'm seeing 10,000 um, subscribers, uh, there's a lot of eyes watching you. And we just saw, I always feel like somebody's watching me. So intuitively, you know that. Energetically, you're picking up on that. And so it's important, protective jewelry, protective jewelry. Get yourselves protective jewelry, amulets. Say your Psalms 23. That came to me just now. Make sure you connect. Make sure you say your prayers. You know, whatever prayers connect with you, whatever affirmations, mantras, call on your angels, your spirit teams to put a fiery wall of protection around you, unpenetrable wall, shield of protection around you. And I feel like you already have that because it says your ancestors approve. So everything that's coming in from the love ships, from the financial um, increase, from the flow, all of this flow that's coming in is because you're being rewarded for the hard work, for everything you've been through. And the divine sees all. Remember I said that the divine, the most high God, they speak to the heart of man. So the divine already knows the hearts of these individuals. And that's why they're forewarning you and giving you that inclination, that intuition to pick up on these people's energy and not to get excited by people coming back saying, I want to get to know you or trying to do things that seem familiar, you know. They know that you uh, like a certain movie, so they'll mention it in a text message. Oh, guess what I'm watching? Or they know that you two have a song, and so they'll send you a link to the video on YouTube or some shit. And this is just pulling on your emotional strings. That's emotional manipulation. They're trying to get to know you better, so they're trying to get familiar with you, so they're studying you. So whatever it is you're speaking about online, know that they're watching 
and they're studying you. So they may come at you saying some of the things that they see you're posting just to feel familiar, just so that you feel like, oh, so that you could put your guard down. The divine is telling you, use your first eye to see. I can't make this shit up. Use your first eye to see, not the two in your head. They will deceive you. So this person, I'm telling you, they're trying to conjure up a plan. Remember, diary of a madman. And remember, we just had Wu-Tang Clan saying fourth chamber. So that means keep your defenses up. Be prepared. Because this person is going to be very deceptive. We already saw how deceptive they were when we picked up the cards. And I feel like, and with this, it's not what you think here. Further investigation needed. Like I said, some of y'all are going to get duped. Some of y'all are going to fall for the okie doke by somebody coming back saying shit you've been hoping they saying. If you're dealing with a narcissist, they know exactly what you want to hear, but they also know how to flip shit to make you feel guilty for some shit they done did. So don't get trapped. Don't get entrapped. And we have new addition, boys to men. So this person needs to grow up. They're going to pretend like they grew up, like they changed, just like I said. Because this person was very childish. Remember, childish and immaturity showed up during the pre-shuffle. Look at this. <laughs> and this flew out, beloveds. I can't make this shit up. Your biggest fans are those up seething at your ascension. So not only do you have haters that are in competition, you have fans who are, you have fans. So they pretending to root you on. What are they doing? They're studying you. They're studying the way you speak. They're studying how you do things. They're studying the way that you, whatever it is that you do, whatever it is you do, they're studying you to a T. But they hate what they can't duplicate. This, this, this admiration or whatever this is, is turning into like a competitive, sick game. You've experienced many life changes. Congratulations. So they are upset because you've transformed. We're about to clarify basic instructions before leaving earth. The Bible, seeking higher knowledge. This is how you've changed and transformed. Because you sought higher knowledge, which means you did the internal work. This, these individuals are trying to fake it till they make it. And they're not doing the work. There is a need to do deep dives and soul work. you got to face it. That ugly aspect of yourself, that dark aspect of yourself, if you want to change and transform. And that's what you all did. When this person held up that mirror to you and reflected back to you what you looked like, what you were, who you were, and you knew you didn't like that part of yourself, you started to change. You had to admit and take onus that those things that you were um, exhibiting those behaviors. Those, those characteristics in order for you to change it. When you're in denial about it, you can't change it because you're like, I don't do that. If somebody's trying to tell you something, a friend, you know what I'm saying? This is why real people have people around them that are not yes men. Narcissists have to have a bunch of yes men around them because they don't like to hear the truth. So if you are dealing with somebody that's a narcissist, look at their friend group. If they all da dun da dun and if they all in competition with each other and they're all liars, master manipulators, cheaters, if they all, then you're dealing with somebody who is a narcissist because they, they only can be around people who are going to like, who are going to stroke their ego. And for a long time, Scorpios, y'all did that. Y'all were loving them unconditionally and enabling a lot of bad behavior because you didn't put your foot down. And you didn't hold the mirror back to them. And anytime you did, if you did do that, they, it would cause an argument. It would cause a big blow up. Person would run away. They would, you know what I'm saying? They would deflect. They would project. But I'm telling you all, because you've transformed, because you've tapped into your Christ consciousness, you connected with spirit, your angel team, your ancestors, your spirit team, your deities, you called upon them for strength. This is why you've experienced the transformations. This is why major shifts are happening. You're being rewarded now because the divine is saying you did the work. And remember, you had your ancestors approved. They are pleased. They're pleased with all the work that you've been doing because this shit ain't been easy. 
And that's why these people are hating because they didn't see all the grinding, all the sweat, the blood, the tears, the f fucking ugly face crying, snotting in, in the room. You know what I'm saying? At night, crying yourselves to, to rest, to sleep. They didn't see all of that. All they see is you waking up every day, being resilient, persevering. So they feel like you're unaffected. You know what I'm saying? They didn't see that side of you. Scorpios have a way of, of doing their soul work without letting everybody know what type of pain they're going through. And that's why a lot of people feel like Scorpios are, you know what I'm saying, are super strong. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it looks like from the outside, nothing affects us. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't show that vulnerable side you know what I'm saying? Because we already been hurt. So now we got all defenses up. We put the shell up. You know, that shell is, you know, a protective mechanism for us. But we put that stinger out to protect ourselves from future hurt, future pain, future disappointment. But these individuals, they didn't see all that you've been through. You know, they didn't know because you, you know what I'm saying? From the outside, you looked unaffected. But you've done a lot of work for you to get the congratulations card. And for you to get that card saying that the ancestors are pleased, that speaks to the work that you've been doing. And that's why this karma card is here, karma dharma. You're going to reap what you sowed. When y'all had the, you know, the chances to be petty, petty betties, chatty patties, when y'all had the opportunities to be, be petty labels, y'all didn't take the chance. Y'all stayed in a high vibration. You, get, you didn't get, you know what I'm saying, bamboozled or, you know, you didn't get tricked into vibrating at a low frequency. You said, you know what? I'm going to stay up here. I'm a coast with the eagles, with the phoenix. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay in a high vibration and I'm going to ride this wave, this current. And that's why now things are coming in for you because when you had the opportunity to, 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 to do them low blows, to take revenge, you know what I'm saying? To get, vin you know, vindication, you didn't do it. You let your ancestors, angels handle it for you. And that's why you're being congratulated. That's why you're being blissed with all of this. And these individuals will never get it because they're low vibrational, dark, leechy, the energy vampire, hating ass, parasitic fools. And they think you don't see them, but you see them clear as day. Why is basic instructions before leaving earth here seeking higher knowledge? For our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit of love and light. Okay. See that? The grass was, in, look at that. The grass was greener on the other side because they watered it. Your grass wilted. And so that's what a lot of y'all had to go seek higher knowledge about. That's why y'all started the healing process. Because you had a tower moment where you was deceived and betrayed and left out in the cold. And this was a very painful situation for you all. And I feel like instead of sitting around ruminating and pining... I feel like a lot of y'all turn to the ancestors, your angels, your, your guides, your spirit team for answers to help heal your broken heart, to help heal, you know, what was left broken within you. And within, with, with you doing that work because of this betrayal, this deception, these, this cheating, I feel like that's what led you to healing past wounds from your, from your childhood, you know. It, it led you to seeing yourself. It led you to like looking at yourself to see why am I, why was I attracting these type of individuals? Why was I putting up with this for as long as I did? And we have February 3rd, so somebody could be born on the 3rd of February. So that's 2-3. Somebody could be born in February. February is the second month. So maybe somebody was. I'm here in the 23rd. I'm here in the 5th. Somebody could be born on. Somebody could be dealing with someone who was a Pisces. No, that's not Pisces. Is that Aquarius? That's Aquarius. But I do feel like, you know, ultimately, this is what led to you all connecting to your spirituality because you had to heal. And I feel like you took it to the root cause and, and you learned and discovered a lot about yourself and what you was accepting. 
and you was able to release this person. Because that's why the divine is asking you, mirror reflects, can they be a reflection or the shadow side of yourself? Check yourself. And that's what you all did. You didn't blame this person anymore. You started to look at yourself. It's very easy when you're in a vulnerable state or when someone deceives you to, to blame that other person and say, you did this, you did that. But then when you come out of that initial state of anger and feeling deceived, you start more internal analysis. You know, and you started to ask those questions, like I said, why was I accepting this as long as I did? You know, what is it about me that keeps attract attracting these type of guys, these type of women? You know, you did more deeper, you know, investigation. Because the name of this song is February 3rd. And so 2-3 reduces, you know, because I'm taking February, which is the second month, and that 3, which is reduced to 5. So I feel like that's the heart of the matter. That was the heart of the matter. We're about to clarify the heart of the matter. And so the heart of the matter is you was dealing with a shadow aspect of yourself. The heart of the matter is this person broke your heart when they abandoned you and chose someone else. They didn't choose wisely. We have them falling off my game, messed around and fell in love with you. Damn. So I feel like now this person is realizing they're in love with you because you doing your work has somehow triggered or activated this person to start reflecting on their behavior, reflecting on their past behavior. Maybe this is someone else that you know. For some reason, I'm hearing run or chaser. So some of you have an actual twin flame and some of you have a false flame. Someone's realizing they didn't put enough time, energy, effort into this connection, didn't give you enough attention, didn't really shower you with the love, show the appreciation that they should have. And now they're feeling regret, remorse, because now they're feeling like they are completely in love and they don't know what to do with those emotions. And we have here Boogie Down Productions, we in there. So they're trying to figure out how to get back in your good graces, I feel. Why is Mirror, mirror Reflect? See that? <laughs> You're not with the shit, Scorpio, and they know that. And this is the world card. You have evolved, beloved. Congratulations. You have ascended to your higher self. You have gone through spiritual alignment you are wiser you have knowledge of self you have a different perspective and these experiences this shadow aspect of yourself this shadow or karmic energy that came in to hold this mirror up to you you have completely you've transformed You've graduated. This is a card of graduation. This is a card of ascension, growth, elevation. You have the sun, the moon, and the stars on here. So this is spiritual alignment. These are things aligning in your favor now. And now you've come into the power to know not to take anybody's shit. To no longer allow, you know, people to come into your life and bring a low vibration. You want people who are going to vibrate higher or not be around you at all. But this person definitely was someone to come in and test you, to teach you how to love yourself, teach you how to treat yourself. They, was, they brought a tower moment into your life. And we see that because the grass was greener on the other side. They didn't water the grass with you because they didn't value you. They didn't see your potential. They didn't see your worth. And I feel like it's because you didn't delegate enough. You didn't, you didn't hold them responsible for their part. They didn't reciprocate and you didn't demand that they did. You just allowed them to take. And so this is why they didn't really fully have that respect because they didn't have to really do anything. You didn't require anything of them. But now that you've rebuilt 
You're building on a more solid foundation, especially with the wealth of wisdom and knowledge that you've obtained on this spiritual journey. You've learned to navigate. You could be attracting someone that's at a distance from you as well because you got love and happiness here. And I feel like there is someone that's going to come in and reflect, like I said, who you are now. Because remember, the divine was saying that you're re radiating love and light and you're shining brighter. So now that you're radiating this love, this confidence, now that you're in spiritual alignment, you're going to attract someone that is your twin flame, your soulmate. While you're leaving the past in the past, you're leaving that ex in the past and you're opened up to the new. And this connection is going to be built on a very solid foundation because this person coming in is solid. And I feel like the, the person, your ex person is going to be gossiping and lying and spewing lies and hatred and trying to turn people against you because you're going to be very much in a very blissful connection. They're going to have to sit back and watch you come into union with someone that's on your frequency, someone that's going to respect you, appreciate you, love you. And this is going to be like wish fulfillment, a dream come true. Not only are you going to be financially fulfilled, but you're going to be emotionally fulfilled. And this is something that you have built. And that's why they're talking, they're resorting to gossiping. And how would they be sitting around having the time or finding the time to gossip unless they're stalking your ass? So they're stalking your website, they're stalking your, your social media accounts, they're stalking your life. Why is love and happiness here? And they're, they're conjuring up negativity. But they're in secret competitions with you. They're, your biggest fans are up seething at your ascension. And they're haters. They're hating on you. See that? Show me. So remember what the divine said. The divine was telling you to be, you know, you have to be receptive to love. A lot of you are going to, you know feel very apprehensive when this new love comes in because of all of the toxic, you know, experiences you've endured with this past person. But the divine is telling you, you can let your guard down a little, but you're going to, this person is going to show you. I feel like this person is going to come in and show you. It says Anthony David um, is playing can't look down. So this person is going to show you. And I feel like you're going to, like I said, you're going to be like on a natural high. You know, there's going to be like this natural high. You're going to be so elated when this person comes in because it says can't look down. So you're going to be so you're going to literally be like floating on cloud nine. And they're going to show you that they care about you. They're going to show you that they love you. The past person didn't show you shit. And I feel like that's why you cut that past person off. And because you, pe you cut that past person off, that's why they have this disdain and this malice and this contempt. Because it's almost like, you know, they didn't expect you to, you know, your comeback game, your clapback game to be so strong. And they're mad because now you're putting yourself first. You're not allowing them, you know, to, to reign supreme over your own needs. This is you saying, you know what, I'm taking my power back, beloved. And that's why Oshun showed up in the beginning during the pre-shuffle because she represents self-love, power, strength, beauty, turning pain into power, transmuting negative situations, and healing energy. The color yellow is the vibration of Mama Oshun. That's also the, vib the, the number of, I mean, the color of the solar plexus. And the solar plexus is all about strength. It's all about illumination that solar plexus is the sun that shines within us so it's about healing past traumas healing from familial issues childhood issues abandonment issues and I feel like you've cut off a lot of things that don't serve your highest good you've even changed your perspective your belief systems your behaviors your habits anything that did not honor you and that's why the divine is saying that you've cut things off that don't honor you and you're no longer with the shits, meaning you no longer have patience for the dumb shit. You no longer have patience for child's play, for immaturity, for people wasting your time, 
for people lying, pretending. It's like, if you don't fuck with me, leave me alone. Because I promise you, I ain't thinking about your ass. But you're on these people's minds morning, noon, night. Night, (laughs) noon, and morning. Like, it's like, they wake up thinking about you. They go to bed thinking about you. They wake up in cold sweats thinking about you. And it's because you cut them off. They feel like you beat them at their own game. And they're trying to take revenge. They're trying to conjure up this plan. And that's why we had Diary of a Madman plan. And grave digger. They're trying to figure out how to dig you, dig your grave. And this is even the word digging. The gold diggers was the song, was the, the artist. And we have, I know, I want to get to know you better, digging on you. So this is someone trying to, like, learn you, like I said, conspiring to learn your moves, trying to learn your actions. And you always have to be a thousand steps ahead of your enemy. That's why playing chess is a, a great game for anyone. You could play chess by yourself just to master, you know, master your, your game. Because it's all about strategy. It's all about determining your enemy's moves. It's the game of life. Just like pool is, you know. But we're not going to go into that. I digress. So why is um, dreams, don't forget them. They are more than something you wake up from, believe, divine spirit. Thank you, spirit. See that? Master your craft, sharpen your swords. So some skill that you've been honing, something that you've really, like, lost yourself in, it's going to generate some sort of abundance. Maybe there's a business that you've always envisioned yourself, you know, starting. And the divine is telling you, don't give up on your dreams. Continue mastering that craft. If you are an artist, a painter, continue painting. Buy some new canvases, buy some new paints, acrylic paints, play with different types of paints, water paints, and just continue creating. Get into that creative space. If you play instruments, then buy more than just that one tune. Dif- buy a different tone or a different, you know, a different instrument. But it's like the divine wants you to not give up on your dreams because th- this is something that can absolutely come into, f- you know, um, it can come into fruition for you. And I feel like for many of you, your dreams are coming true because you've been mastering your crap. That's what you've lost yourself in. A lot of you lost yourself in your creativity. You honed some sort of skill. And now this is bringing forth some sort of wish fulfillment. This is something coming in that you've absolutely worked for. And I feel like there's also love coming in. It says they feel deeper than they let on. So someone that is, you know, feeling you. This is, you know, somebody, I feel like this is someone you may... You may see in passings, you may know already, maybe an acquaintance. Scorpio, you know when somebody's digging on you, you're highly intuitive. I'm hearing high priestess. My throat chakra is getting blocked, so this person has trouble communicating their feelings. And that's why the divine is saying they they feel deeper, because just because they're not expressing it or communicating it doesn't mean that they're they're not feeling that. And the sword reference here is also about communication. So maybe somebody that is wish fulfillment is, you know, trying to to figure out how to come in, trying to strategize a way to come in. But this is someone that's going to um, it's going to lead into a spiritual union marriage. I'm hearing happy house, happy spouse. We don't say happy wife, happy life. That is so one sided. We want balance. We want equilibrium. It has to be happy house, happy spouse. The masculine's got to be happy too, feminines. You know, but I feel like whoever this person is, they know, I feel like they're a little intimidated by you because they know that you are very, um, like you are very communicative. You're very confident and they know they, that you expect them to show you how they feel. And so they are trying to, you know, they're trying to strategize how to do that. So they're trying to master up some sort of way to communicate. This is a wish fulfillment. I feel like this person is trying to figure out how to come towards you. And we have um, Boogie Down Productions. 
in the South Bronx. So for some of you, y'all could reign from the South Bronx. I'm from the South Bronx, so that's pretty powerful. So this could be a direct message for me. But I feel like somebody that's coming in, you know, they're, they're right now they're kind of strategizing because we're on the other side of the spectrum. This is your past, beloved. The world card is here in the heart of the matter. So you have completed this cycle. Congratulations. That's why your ancestors were pleased with you because they saw you do the grunt work, that groundwork. That's not easy. That's not, that's not good. You know, that doesn't look pretty. It's not pretty. But now you're on the other side where there's reward, recognition, wish fulfillment, new beginnings, new opportunities. There's love, you know, for, you know, um, emotional fulfillment and financial fulfillment coming in. And somebody that feels deeply that has not communicated these feelings. I feel I'm just getting a feeling that someone that you already know because it says they feel deeper than they let on. So I feel like, you know, but this person's a little hushed right now because my throat chakra was getting a little blocked. Okay. And look what came out again. So we got a lot of cards, but I'm hearing expound. Okay. So we got, you've experienced many life changes. Congratulations. So this is like a reward coming in. And the divine is saying music is my sanctuary. So many of you could be clairaudient as well. I feel like a lot of you receive messages through the music. And I also feel like, you know, like I said, looking for that happily ever after. This is all you're focused on. Happy house, happy spouse. Happily ever after is marriage. That's a future. That's building an empire with someone. That's emotional investment. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. I feel like you're getting a lot of downloads, transmissions, divine interventions. You may be seeing animal totems. You may be hearing songs. Some of you are getting wish fulfillment. This also represents wish fulfillment. All of your prayers being answered. A lot of you have walked away from someone that was not emoting, not showing love, not respecting you, not reciprocating the gestures of love. And now you know your worth and you're moving on to bigger and better. You're going to attract someone who's going to be mentally stimulating and someone who's going to engage in very deep conversations with you. And as I was saying that this person is going to appreciate you internally and externally, they're going to love who you are. They're going to love every aspect of you because this is someone that you've absolutely manifested. So your wish fulfillment, your manifestations are coming true. Somebody's going to want your trust, want your, I mean, want your forgiveness. And I feel like you could forgive anybody. It doesn't mean you have to take them back. Okay. And these are the expounds. And we have, I am an alchemist. I create the potions and elixirs to life. See that? So as I said, you all are manifesting. You are the co-creators with source. So you have tapped into your power. And this is very much the star card. So as I said, wish fulfillment is coming in. This is the star card in my deck. So you all have not only have you healed, but you've also balanced yourselves emotionally. And you've learned to co-create, to harness the power that the divine gives you. That eight is the divine number. That's a divine number because it's the infinity symbol sideways. So you have believed and hoped, sent, sent up those prayers and affirmations. That's why the divine was telling you, your dreams, don't forget them. They are more than something you wake up from. Believe. And you believed. You remained hopeful. That's why you was working with the divine source. You was working with, co you were co-creating with the universe. And you grounded and found yourself in balance and in alignment. And because you've done that healing, because you've turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower, you are now attracting someone that's going to see you in your light. Remember, the divine was saying that you radiate love and light. Shine bright. What shines the brightest? With the exception of the sun and the moon is the stars. And remember, you got the sun, the moon and the stars on this deck. And what was I saying that represented spiritual alignment, wish fulfillment, joy, peace, new beginnings. And we have wish for, um, we have Erica Badu stay. So you all have some beautiful energy coming in and it's because you did the work. You will never get this type of reading if you don't do the work like and somebody wants your forgiveness and the divine is telling you, you know what to do. You know, trust your own intuition. 
So divine spirit of love and light, what message is we going to get next? So we're going to pull some messages from the Halloween Oracle to pay homage to our solar return to our season. Bottom of the deck, we have joy. Rejoicing in the present. On the bottom of the deck, on the split, we have cauldron, synergy, and healing. So that's beautiful. So divine is saying that you will be, you know, connecting with someone that you will have this synergy with, this connection, this chemistry. And it's going to be very healing to come into union with someone that's, you know, really going to match your fly, that's going to speak your love language. You're going to feel like, you're going to feel the love from this person. You're going to feel cared for. You're going to feel appreciated, valued, protected. You're going to feel like you have a best friend, someone you could trust. You're not going to feel like you have to be defensive all the time. That's a very, you know, for a feminine to always feel like they have to be defensive and they feel, you know, unprotected. That's a very imbalanced place. Same for a masculine. You know, they need that love and that nurturing from a woman, from a divine feminine. Just as the feminine needs that protection, you know. From their masculine so this is someone that's coming in that's going to bring a, a, a type of synergy a connection because they're going to recognize you and this is wish fulfillment because you've absolutely you deserve it and i feel like you're going to stay in that connection for a long time because erica badu is um singing here and so we have on the bottom of the deck the the lamp remembrance so many of you, of course, during Mercury retrograde, you're, you know, some of you are remembering, you know, and I feel like that's what this person is dealing with. You know, they're remembering better times, whoever this hater was. It's like they're going back and reflecting back on, you know, certain situations. And, 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 and you know, it's like they're feeling a lot of regret and remorse because they realize that they've lost something really good, you know. But I feel like you all are also, you know, maybe feeling very nostalgic at this time but I do feel like with the spider card community and web weaving many of you have been working very hard you've been very steadfast in achieving your goals and we have overdose manifesto so manifesto is when like somebody is like planning to like you know from my understanding you know, people who become like martyrs will leave like a manifesto, you know. And so maybe, like I said, with that diary of a madman, some of you may, may need to be very mindful, be very protective of your energy. Because somebody is like, they're being like, oh my God, they're agonizing over their thoughts. Like this is literally like, this person is not getting any, a wink of rest at night. And it's because of what they did to you and because you've moved on and they may have to watch you move into a new relationship or connection with someone that is your absolute divine partner. And they're going to see this person treat you better than they ever did. And they're reminiscing on those times when you all were together I feel like they're receiving some sort of clarity, some sort of truth, and it's going to be a little too late. But with my manifesto, like I said, this person could be like penning some sort of letter, you know, in anger. You know, diary of a madman ma manifesto that's still like journaling their thoughts, their feelings. But I feel like you've been very busy. And this has like almost like that, you know, like the spiral you know, on the back of it. So it's like this, you know, you all have man maintained this resilience. And if you look, there's a lot of orbs of light here. So I feel like you've been very, you've been divinely, um, spiritually guided and divinely protected, just as the card showed. Like they led you to stay focused, to not get distracted off your path. And we have Jay-Z, no hook. So you didn't allow this person to hook you. You know, and I'm thinking of like fisher, fishing, like when you put the, you know, the, you, they put the, um, the bait on the hook and then they fish. And then the fish, unfortunately, 
grabs onto the bait and they get hooked into a situation, locked in. And that's what this person is trying to do. He's trying to hook you, but you stayed resilient. You stayed focused. You had a community, which was your spirit team, your ancestors watching over you. So let's get two more messages, divine spirit, from the Halloween Oracle deck. Two more messages. Thank you, spirit. So here goes one, and we have invisibility, authenticity. See that? So this is definitely, see this person, I want to get to know you better and digging on you. And then we have your biggest fans are those up seething at your ascension. This is what this is like. You know what? I'm going to just clarify all these messages because that's what I'm being told to do. But look at that. This person is like hiding. You know, they're not showing who they are. They're not showing their authentic self. Remember, I was saying they were wearing a mask. But this is a fan. This is a secret like this is a hater this is someone studying you you don't know they're there but you do because intuitively you're picking up on it but they're sitting there studying you watching you and this is someone who's not being their authentic self they're wearing a false mask this is someone who is a frenemy and they're trying to learn you so that they could take you out this is definitely not somebody that you want to entertain because this person is literally like jealous and envious and this is someone who would set you up. So let's go ahead. We're going to clarify all of these. And we have Skull of Darkness. See that? Blind spots. So they're trying to trick you, you know. And that's what I was telling you all. Like, I was just getting the notion that this person may try to come in and they might try to play on, you know, pull your emotional triggers by saying things that may seem familiar, bringing up you know, certain situations that you all may have done in the past, send you certain songs or talk about certain movies, just very familiar things, just so that they could pull you in. And we have Jay-Z playing no hook. So it's like, don't get hooked by this person because they're not being their authentic self. They're just trying to get to know you better. And they're trying to dig you a grave because they are literally a hater. They're not, they're not your fans. They're not your friends. They are, in fact, your frenemies. So you have people that are in, you know, pretending to be, you know, cool with you, but they really don't rock with you like that. And you need to know that. There's nothing worse than having people around you that don't really rock with you. And they sit in here. That's how they, you know, most people get set up by people they know. And you don't realize it until it's too late. That's crazy. And this person is blind. It says blind spots. So that's why the divine was telling you that it's not what you think. Further investigation is needed because you thinking that this is somebody that might have changed because they coming back talking like you and speaking like you and acting like they done changed and grew up and, you know, they've evolved somehow. But it says skull of darkness. So you have to be clear. Tap into your intuition. This candle is on the crown chakra. So this is about you tapping into your intuition and standing in your strength, ultimately. Skulls always denote strength. So divine spirit of love and light. Why well, is basic instructions here? The grass was greener on the other side. Why well, is basic instructions here? Thank you, spirit. So we got all our cards here. So we have hearth, happiness in hearts and homes. See? <laughs> Look at this. Happiness, hearts, and home. At one point in time, your home was happy. And so this person thought that they could, you know, go water somebody else's grass. But this is what you had to learn. You had to learn from this experience. Basic instructions before leaving earth. You had to go through this. This was destined. This was preordained. The divine orchestrated this so that you could learn yourself with self-value. The happiness in our hearts and homes. So you were initially very happy. And you didn't suspect anything was going on initially until things started to change and shift. This person wasn't giving you enough time and energy. They may have started to, you know, exhibit a lot of um, changed behavior in terms of, you know, how much time they were willing to spend with you, how in and out they were. When somebody's constantly in and out or leaving you on the red, that's somebody who's entertaining other people. So you absolutely discovered that this happy house wasn't so happy no more because somebody was watering someone else's grass. And so as they watered someone else's grass, 
instead of you sitting around wallowing in self-pity, of course, initially you cried, you felt that pain, you agonized over it because it was so unexpected. I feel like you initially knew that you had to turn to a higher power in order to heal, in order to get past that pain, that hurt, that betrayal. And we have Diane Reeves, what a little moonlight can do. And so, as I said, the moon reflects and we're about to clarify this mirror reflects. So just like the mirror reflects, the moon reflects and that reflects that shadow aspects. So Diane Reeves is saying what a little moonlight can do. So many of you discovered those secrets. Many of you discovered that your person was entertaining another person. And once you discovered that, you set your guard up and said, I'm not with this bullshit. I'm not about to be no side piece, no third party, no kickstand, the other woman. I'm not about to be none of that. You can go, you know what I'm saying? Go have your fun. Do your thing. I'm ending this shit. I'm out. Peace, love, and light. Wish you the best. And that's what you did. So that moon, that definitely reflected a lot to you. But you realized that you was taking a whole lot of a whole lot of unnecessary mistreatment in this connection also. And you also realized you had to love yourself. You had to learn your own worth and value. And that's what you did. You started to work on you. You started to put that work in. It says community and web weaving. So many of you had spirit team, your ancestors, your deities. Certain animal totems would pay you visits and they started to show you things that you needed to pay closer attention to. And it started to explain what was happening right underneath your nose. And I feel like the closer, you know, the, the more frequent you had these encounters, the more you were spiritually guided and divinely protected, the easier it became to close out the cycle because you realized your worth. You, you, you had a different perspective on what you required in a relationship and what love meant to you. And you also had a more profound knowledge of your own self. And you demanded your respect. You took your power back. You practiced health, healthy self-love. And so we have the witch, the earthly weaver of the worlds. So as I said, a lot of you definitely have been working on manifestation. I feel like you've manifested some new love, some new opportunities, emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment, spiritual unions. You've been manifesting these things. You took your power back. And I feel like you're going to require those that come into your life to show you with their actions and not their words. So someone could be trying to pretend to be something that they aren't, but you're going to know immediately if they are who they say they are, because you're going to feel it energetically. And so we have skull of stars, infinite possibilities. And look what we have clarifying that. Dreams, don't forget them. So you never let up on your dreams. You remained hopeful, optimistic, sent up those prayers, those petitions, those daily affirmations, those mantras. You meditated. You wrote into your manifestation journals. You spoke to your deities, ancestors, spirit team. And you didn't forget your dreams. You knew that there were infinite possibilities. You remained hopeful. And you started to work on mastering your crafts. So you started to co-create. You believed in your ability and you have death. The eternal cycle begins here. See that? So now there's this new beginning. You're ending one cycle and it's the beginning of a new. So you've discovered that you manifest, that you are the alchemist, that you could create the potions and elixirs to life. This new cycle in your life is all about transformation. It's all about evolution. It's all about growth. Transfer. It's about spiritual alignment amazing shifts taking place. This is your element. For the death card to come out at the end of the reading speaks to the power that you possess, Scorpios. Speaks to the power that you took back. And that's why you're being seen as beauty. Beautiful in every fashion of the word. Internal and external. Because you've practiced healthy self-love. Self-love makes you more attractive. 
and we have werewolf exploring wildness so definitely take risks we have um Narlis Barkley crazy so someone's definitely going to drive you crazy and they're going to feel very crazy about you what did I say about you all being the high priestess so you absolutely are highly intuitive. I feel like whoever this is trying to conjure up some sort of plan to take you out, they are absolutely retarded because Scorpios is on to you, beloveds. So this high priestess, a lot of you need, you know what I'm saying, if you haven't, you need to go within, you need to meditate and discover whatever your intentions, your true desires are. Don't take any action just yet until you meditate. Until you connect with your higher self. Trust in yourselves. Trust in your ability, Scorpios. You have the chariot card here. So there's powerful movement forward. This is about being assertive. There's rewards that are coming in for you because of your hard work. Which is literally what I said verbatim. A lot of you, because you've put in the work, we see the heart of the matter that speaks to you doing this soul work. You've been doing that shadow work. And on the other side of that shadow work is all of the rewards recognition coming in for the hard work. This is about balancing all of your priorities successfully. This is about your determination, your willpower. And this is also about you receiving public recognition. People seeing you as a star, having star quality, being beautiful, attractive, radiating love and light. There's also someone coming in. You could be traveling, you could be purchasing a new vehicle. But there's powerful movement forward. Find spirit of love and light. What's coming in for our beloved Scorpios? Uh, spirit of light and light was coming in. God beloved Scorpios. I see the six of cups with the nine of swords. So someone's definitely up in their head. What did I say? This is that card. This is that um, song. The grave diggers. And they were saying diary of a mad man. And this is also that person whose remembrance. Remember the remembrance card frenemies they don't really rock with you like that this person's up in their head look at that full moon so full moon tomorrow is mercury retro retrograde so we are in the, the thick of it and this person whoever this was that was throwing shit at you in the past oh they feeling it now this is someone in your past who's playing a lot of childish games someone that you may have children with someone that you may have known since childhood I definitely feel like there's someone, you know, some of y'all could, like I said, be reminiscing about the past. But you're also healing and embracing that inner child. That's why you've been doing a lot of this, you know, soul work, because a lot of you have to go back to that root cause. But there is, you know, someone definitely thinking about how things used to be. You know, remembering how things used to be. And they're having this clarity. Reminiscing how good they used to have it. And what they didn't appreciate. They didn't appreciate it when they had it. And so they might pretend and act like they're happy for you because you done rebuilt, you know, all that they destroyed with their selfishness, with their cheating, lying, gaslighting, manipulating, backstabbing asses. Now they're 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 sitting in it. It's they're in the thick of it now. This is someone really going through it, sleeping on a guilty conscience, up at night in the middle of the night, waking up in cold sweats, and it's because they're recognizing all of the things that they fucked up, all the good things they had, and they fucked it up for that bird ass, whoever this was that they thought the grass was going to be greener with. They thought they was just going to skip to my loo, my darling into the fucking sunset pardon my language but the energy is getting real stank i'm getting spicy on y'all again i'm sorry but they thought they was going to just skip to malu just skipping and holding hands with this 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 karmic that absolutely was not the case and this person is feeling regret and remorse because 
they've yet to apologize for what they did. If, you, if, if they merely say the words, I'm sorry and mean it, they, could be for, they for, can forever be forgiven for it. Even in the divine's eyes, I feel like the divine would forgive them. But because they're still trying to keep up the song and dance like they're completely innocent. This is why they're going through that. We got the emperor. So some of y'all could have been dealing with the father to your child. Some sort of authority figure. Maybe even a boss. Someone who's a micromanager. Just a stickler for everything. Just dangling around your neck for every situation. Very controlling. But I feel like for most of y'all, y'all took leadership, you know, y'all took lead of your life. You didn't allow somebody to control you. You took charge of the situation. I feel like many of you, because we had the dreams, don't forget them. And the master in your craft, if you are starting a business, trust and believe, your success is going to increase. I feel like many of you have been structuring your lives, restructuring your lives, rebuilding rebranding, re-strategizing. So let's go ahead, we're gonna cut the deck. Find spirit of love and light. It's coming and going out, going on. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who was like in the military, law enforcement, somebody who's into security. Because that emperor energy can be very overbearing, very controlling, my way or the highway. So some of y'all could have been dealing with that type of energy. So we have on the bottom of the deck the dreamer. And this is the fool. And it says, a new start, trust yourself, push your fears aside. So that's what you all did. I feel like for many of you all, that's exactly what you did. You're starting this new venture, this new junction. I see this door. Somebody wants to come back because this, this door is leading to a whole new world. So I feel like this is that frenemy. It says they don't really rock with you like that. And the fool is only around for, you know, for not a long time because he's packing light. You know what I'm saying? He got a little bag. He's, he's not, he's not going to stay for a long period of time. And this is someone that's been studying you and watching you. And this is also someone that's a little perturbed that you, you know, it's like, how dare you leave me? So they, they're going to come back because, you know, right now, because of Mercury retrograde, because of this full moon, you know, some of their residual anger, pain, emotions are starting to come back to surface. So they're coming back trying to convince you that they want to start again. But this is, this is that dreamer. This is someone who's, you know, wanting to have a new beginning with you, but they, they haven't changed much. And this is not somebody that's going to stay for a long time. Because they're only packing light. So they're just coming in to see, you know, see how things work. And remember, you had werewolf. And it says exploring wildness. So this is somebody that could just be, you know, kind of checking the temperature. And, and underneath that, we have, look at this, check this out. So this is somebody just trying to see what happens. They're just looking for fun. So they, they just want to pop up, see what's going on, see if it works. If it doesn't, they out. And that's what I was saying before. So this person is werewolf, exploring wildness. So this is the person, you know, when the clock strikes a certain time, this person could have been out drinking, partying, turn into a completely different person when they get around friends. The moon is bringing out this, and there's also lightning striking and all type. Oh, no, that's, that's um, I'm sorry, that's tree branches. But this, any, this uh, it looked like lightning. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, is that, you know, what was hidden Within this person, whatever behaviors, habits, addictions, sex addictions, drinking, drugging, whatever they was doing, like they would literally like they would become impulsive. They would become flighty. They would go out and they would start partying, drinking, acting a fool. This person lacked control, but tried to co hold control over you. That's why that emperor energy was there, because this person was trying to maintain control. And I feel like this is something that you like literally You've left this behind, but they try. They refuse to let you go. They still. You see how his hands breaking from the earth. So it's like they're still trying to maintain this control, this grip on you, even though things are dead stinking. Look at the moon is on both of these cards. So it's like they're gonna still try to reach out and remember Hook. No Hook was playing. I don't know why that song is coming in. So they're gonna try to hook hook you 
you know, with something, maybe enticing you with some like, hey, you know, let's go and listen to some music or let's go sit down and have a drink. The veil, the future. So this person is trying to pull the veil over your eyes, which is going to negatively influence your future. So you have to be mindful. This person suffers from regret, remorse, ruminating, pining, we're thinking back to the mistakes that they made. My throat is getting blocked. So they're not communicating and expressing any type of truth. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you all have to be mindful because this is the person that had you as an option. Didn't choose wisely. This is someone who thought that the grass was greener on the other side. We already see that because it's here. And they were watering it. They had options in love. I feel like this person definitely did not have clarity. This person had too many options and they suffered addictions. And so now they're trying to deceive you into taking them back. And they're trying to study you because I want to get to know you. So they're watching you via social media. They're learning you, but they're not being their authentic self. They're truly in some sort of um, toxic competition. So why is I want to get to know you better here? Let me put this under here. So why is I want to get to know you better and visibility and your biggest fans are those up seething at your ascension. Thank you, spirit. All right. So we got bong, 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 bong. And we need one more card. Bottom of the deck, we have the nine of pentacles. So this is self-sufficient, independent. This is pre-emperor status. You know your worth. You know your value. You're not settling for less. You have been working and grinding hard. You bring nine tables to the... You, you bring nine pentacles to the table all on your own. So this speaks to the reward. You've worked hard to achieve everything that you've been able to accomplish. You're enjoying the fruits of your labor. Your hard work has definitely paid off. A lot of you may be purchasing luxurious, you know, gifts for yourself for your solar return. Might be taking yourself on a trip. Might be, you know, treating yourself to a new vehicle, a new piece of jewelry, a new wardrobe a new haircut but I definitely feel like a lot of you are very successful some of you have very successful businesses you're successful entrepreneurs and you're enjoying your solitude you're enjoying being single and independent and this is why there's this jealousy this hatred the hermit mode so someone is watching you from a distance because you have detached. You're doing a lot of internal work. You're doing a lot of deep dives, reflection, introspection. This is you doing that soul work. You know that the answers you seek are found within. So a lot of you retreated from that energy and focused on your spirituality. You disconnected and disengaged. So many of you have been meditating. You've been spending a lot of time in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude, which is what this Nine of Pentacles is all about. About It's about enjoying that solitude because you're mastering your craft and sharpening your sword. And I feel like your light is shining bright. And this light that's shining bright is being watched and it's being admired, but it's being admired in a dark way because people are hating. They're in competition. And it's because they don't understand, understand how you were able to get to this damn pre-emperor status. How were you able to rebuild after they destroyed everything? How were you so successful? How were you able to regroup? And we have right now, we have um, LSG, my body. So this person feels like your body belongs to them. They're very attracted to you. You're very beautiful. They find you to be very loving, very nurturing, very healing, very regal and royal. And as I said, a lot of you, y'all have been practicing celibacy, so you haven't been giving your body to anyone. Your body is your body. I'm hearing chastity belt. Like y'all ain't giving it up to nobody unless they pass, you know, multiple tests. But this is like the mode that you all have been in. And you all have been making sure to connect to your higher selves. I feel like you all have been seeking out and you've become spiritual mentors, which is why this basic instruction before leaving Earth is here, because you've been seeking a higher knowledge. This is all about self-discovery, the hermit. Hermit knows the answers he seeks are found within. And I feel like you've discovered your authentic self by taking that time away, by disconnecting, dis detaching. 
and this person is trying to get to know you, but you're at a distance and you've set a boundary. But I feel like you are invisible because you're off the you're off the um, radar, you know, and that's why these people are literally having to like watch you online and learn and study you that way. So we have release here. It says endings that lead to new beginnings. So the release is here and you're releasing this past person because of them defiling the relationship that they had with you. When someone defiles a relationship because they think the grass is greener on the other side and they don't have the common de decency to speak to you about whatever the discord is within the relationship, then that's going to cause for you to make a decision to release it, to let it go, even if it was once a happy home, even if this was once someone you know, that you love dearly, that you would do anything for. I do see that there was a lot of happiness at one point in time. I feel like this person absolutely knows now that you made a house a home because they don't have you anymore. But I also feel like a lot of you turned to your spirit team, your ancestors, tapped into that Christ consciousness to get past this pain. And this is what helped you to release this individual, release the situation. And this ultimately led to your spiritual transformation. Because this person was holding you back from your happiness, from your peace. And they were also holding you back from being your authentic self. This required a whole lot of internal work. When you start seeking higher knowledge, then you're going to, to absolutely tap in to your divinity. And you're going to be more discerning about your needs, wants, and desires. We have the ego here. See that? That's what the ego is, is the mirror reflection. Karmic came in. So there was an ego death within you. There was also something that needed to be released, an illusion of being trapped in this connection. Because you've worked so hard at this relationship, because you put so much time and energy, because you may have planted seeds and roots, you didn't want to let go. And it was because of the illusion. The illusion of, I can't get any better. We've worked so hard. We have children. We're supposed to be married. I feel like a lot of you also had to take responsibility, take onus of the situation. And you had to make a decision that was going to support the path which was going to lead to your happiness, to your success, to your independence. I also feel like whoever you was dealing with was suffering from addictions. They had to go through their mirror reflection. Maybe you and this person, and when you first got with them, maybe y'all both used to drink a lot. And then you slowed it down to the point where it's like once in a blue moon. Maybe both of y'all used to chief, you know, until you realized like you were self-medicating, you was numbing yourself. But I feel like this person reflected the shadow aspect of you, but you worked hard. You got community and web weaving and the spiders work hard. When I see these orbs of light, that's the spiritual guidance and divine protection. You paid attention. You knew that you had a community. You knew that your ancestors, your guides, your angels were there to help you. And this is what led to your spiritual transformation. This is what led to you breaking karmic cords. This is what led to you evolving, growing, changing your perspective and setting up healthy boundaries and saying, I'm not with the shits no more. I'm not with anyone coming into my life, dimming my light and put raining on my, my parade. You knew your worth and value. You started to work towards your dreams, acquiring your dreams. With this fire, this five of wands, there's definitely, and the witch and the love and happiness, I feel like someone is going to try to do some sort of love spells to get you back. That's what I initially feel. They're going to pretend to be a twin flame, pretend to be someone. But this is someone who's definitely using mirror magic. Someone who could definitely be um, trying to divert you from an actual twin flame, as I was picking up. But I feel like, you know, someone's trying to bring some sort of conflict. Conflict There's definitely um, some sort of opposition here. And with the witch, the earthly weaver of the world, there is some sort of witch that's trying to block a twin flame from coming in. Someone could be going to a witch, going to a warlock, warlock going to someone 
to conjure up some sort of love spell or some come to me spell or to a separation spell. But I do feel like there's some sort of conflict or some sort of opposition. And these are people who are very ambitious and we already know you have frenemies, you got haters, you have people who are in competition with you and they don't want you to come into a love ship or a spiritual union. This is very jealous. They could be working on the person you're meant to come in with. Maybe the person you're meant to come in with is dealing with a witch. But I do feel like, you know, um, you're not going to accept anyone or anything unless their energy is right, unless their vibration is right. You know, because this five of wands is definitely you. You're going to be standing up for yourself. You're going to be sp speaking your truth. And you're going to make a decision. Uh, 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 um, you're going to make a decision based off whether or not you feel like dealing with it. You know, if it's not worth your time and your energy, you're going to be off that immediately. And you will walk away from it. That's why you like, look, show me because I don't have time to play. Show me. Adults show with their actions. They don't just speak with their words. And that's what I feel like you're looking for. You're looking for the, the, the action behind the words. And so we have here two of swords and then we have dreams don't forget them and master your craft so with this infinite possibility I feel like you're going to have to make a decision because there is wish fulfillment coming in but you're going to have to see that for what it is don't allow there to um I feel like don't allow others to influence your decisions. Don't allow others to manipulate you. You have to follow your own heart rather than trying to make anyone else happy in a situation. But there's wish fulfillment coming in and this is someone that you've manifested and someone else may try to come in and like I said, divert you from your twin flame. And so they're going to come in and they're going to try to confuse you. And we have... Um, prodigy playing keep it thorough so you have to keep it thorough with yourself keep it thorough in the situation and remember this is wish fulfillment it says skull of stars and it says don't forget them so someone's going to try to throw you off course with their words and remember the divine is reminding you to make people force people demand people to show you and show that you've mastered the art of intuition master the art of you know discernment even reading people because something that you've called in prayed for hoped for wished for manifested is here and there's going to be something or someone that's going to try to confuse you so don't overanalyze anything you know even when it comes to your dreams even when it comes to a business you know don't allow yourself to get confused follow your own Heart. Don't listen to other people's opinions because all they're doing is trying to confuse you. And don't get too emotional about it. Use head over heart. But don't don't be too up at too much in your head either, because you absolutely have the ability. You have to see there's infinite possibilities. So make a decision. You know. So why is you a beauty in every form of the word? This flew out. So we got the seven of swords. Someone was self-deceiving. They was deceiving themselves. But you're putting an end to that. The death of that. The death of being dis, dis, disillusioned. Being gaffled. Being gaslighted. Emotionally manipulated. It's the death of that. Because it says the eternal cycle begins here. And then you got the seven of swords. So there was this childish energy, someone who was playing a lot of games, that flighty in and out. Remember the flighty in and out, unreliable. That's the, that's the epitome of this energy. Someone who comes in, takes more than they give, and leaves. But we see here this bird is seeing all. And like I said, the divine speaks to the heart of man. So I feel like because you are this alchemist, that means you've healed from that. And someone that's coming in is absolutely going to see the beauty of you. They see just what you've been through, what you've dealt with, what you've had to go through. And I also feel like the person who was very deceptive in the past is also realizing how beautiful you are once you cut them off. But I feel like someone is absolutely like 
they're going to be losing their mind because they're starting to see your beauty. I feel like someone's secrets are also going to be exposed as well. And that's what's going to be like the nail in the coffin between you and this past person. Because you're going to discover there's a whole lot of secrets. And that's why this person is dipping off. And this is very childish, young energy. It's like somebody who throws a rock and hides their hands. You know, this person is like taking all of the swords. This is someone who's self deceptive. Not only are they self deceptive, but they're also deceit deceitful. And we have the Ten of Pentacles here. And this is what he's running directly towards. I feel like this person is trying to run back to you, but they it's too late because whoever you're coming into union with is going to be someone that's absolutely going to speak your love language. This is someone you've been calling in, that happy house, happy spouse energy. This Ten of Pentacles definitely represents like you having that financial fulfillment, but also emotional fulfillment. This is contentment. This is security for your family. This is an inheritance. This is emotional investment. This is peace and contentment, honoring family traditions. This is also passing on knowledge to your children. Let me get one more card to clarify this. Uh, you are beautiful and death and alchemist. Okay, they gave me a gazillion cards. So we got the queen of swords. So you're hip to the bullshit. And you're not going to take too kindly to this person playing games. The Queen of Swords does not take too kindly to anyone insulting her intelligence. And you have your sword ready to cut out that nonsense. This is you cutting out the bullshit, cutting out the negativity out of your life. Whatever doesn't serve you, off with their heads. But you're very intelligent, very brilliant. You know to trust your own intuition, your own inner gumption. And you will let go, you will release, you will purge anything and anyone that comes in to cause distraction, disturbance. And any sort of toxicity, bring any toxicity into your life. It's good to see this Queen of Swords here because whatever you were confused about, you absolutely are no longer confused. And these butterflies show that you've manifested some sort of change. So there's some positive changes that are coming in. And it's because of you putting in the work, the hard work, the effort. So there's absolutely something beautiful coming in and someone's going to feel left out in the cold. So the seeds that you've planted, remember you reap what you sow was there. Where is it? I can't even find it now. What happened to you reap what you sow? Oh yeah, there it is. Karma Dharma. So the seeds that you've planted, sowing in good faith. So the seeds you've planted are not, ab they're absolutely blossoming and we have heavy D, is it good to you? So it's going to be good to you. Everything that you've done in good faith, the divine has noticed all the hard work, has noticed you cultivating and watering and nurturing and fertilizing and planting your hands in the soil, in the earth. And everything that you've been putting into your business, into your life, the divine is taking note. You got the Knight of Swords. So there's some sort of communication coming in and it's impertinence to some sort of fortune, some abundance, some success. I feel like you absolutely have a brand new start financially, especially with the promotions pay increase card showing up. And I feel like this is the end of delays, the end of karmic cycles. And there's going to be some unexpected progress that you wasn't anticipating. Some of you may be receiving a promotion, a pay increase, some sort of bonus, some sort of unexpected check, mail. There's an increase in your, your finances. And I feel like this positive change is happening. The wheel is turning in your favor. Some of you may be traveling. You got the world and the wheel here. So this definitely speaks to change, positive change. And we have the symbol of Jupiter. So good luck, good fortune is coming in. And with this full moon... There's also, um, if I'm not mistaken, Jupiter and um, Venus, I believe. And the full moon is in Pisces. So I believe that, like, you know, that these are the planets that, that bring forth prosperity, abundance, wish fulfillment, luck. 
So some of you may be getting a new vehicle, like I said. Some of you may be traveling for your solar returns in the upcoming months before the close of the year. Even in the beginning of the year, that might be something you treat yourself to. But there's positive changes happening in your life. And it's because you've put in the work. It has something to do with a business you've started also. I feel like whatever this craft is that you're mastering, whatever skills you're honing, you're going to be recognized because you're doing something you love. And it's a dream. It's a dream that you've always held on to. Maybe from when you was a, tri a child. And we have Alton Ellis playing Willow Tree. So many of you may have sat down and I'm seeing the vision of someone sketching in their book under a tree or someone journaling under a tree. Someone meditating under trees, like calling in their manifestations. But I definitely feel like there's some sort of recognition. You're going to start being rewarded. There's wish fulfillment, abundance. There's this, this, this is like a fresh new start with the wheel of fortune here. And you have a lot of uh, major arcanas. You got the fool, the hermit. You have the um, you have the release card, the ego card, and you have the wheel here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So five represents change. Positive changes are taking place. And I feel like you're going to be collaborating with a bunch of people, you know, with people that are on your frequency, that are, you know, that are literally like on the same wavelength. And with the song Willow Tree, I feel like, you know, this is going to be like a family. It's going to be like your soul tribe, your soul family, because the tree is the tree of life. So you're going to plant roots with these people. I feel like they're going to become like your, your relatives, your family members. There's also going to be like positive um, your, your, your products, whatever you do for business, whatever it is you're doing, like you're going to have a, a, a very positive reputation, excellent reputation. You're going to have great reviews for your products. People are going to leave reviews saying your products helped me. You know, if you make skincare products, people are going to like, they're going to chime in and say how your products after seven days cleared their skin. If you make clearing candles, if you make spiritual kits, people are going to say that their, their, their energy felt different. Their vibration in their home felt more, it felt lighter. But with Willow Tree, I definitely feel like many of you are protected. I feel like you have become wiser, very in tune, you're tapped in, you're connected. Many of you may have an affinity towards willow trees, fond memories. Maybe you used to climb in willow trees as children. But I definitely feel like whatever your skills are, whatever this is that the divine was telling you to master, you're going to be paid. You're going to be paid very well for whatever this is that you craft. And you got the king of pentacles here. So this is confirmation that you're going to be very successful and you also have someone that's going to honor and nurture you and appreciate and value you. I feel that others see you as very compassionate. They see you as very accomplished because you've obviously have planted the seeds. You have the three and the seven of pentacles here. So that speaks to, you know, the hard work. And with this will of fortune here, you're definitely going to have a lot of um, financial success in your life. And we have um, Thompson Twins, Hold Me Now. So you have, so for some of you feminines, you have a king of pentacles, like I said, who's going to be very attracted to you. And they're going to be very attentive, very affectionate. They're going to hold you. They're going to, you know, it's going to be communication. I'm hearing pillow talk. But this is someone very charismatic, very grounded. And this is someone who's also very, very successful. So they're like, they got their Midas touch. They will protect you. They will provide for you. This is someone who will, you know, be very supportive, very caring. This is also saying that you're going to be very financially secure and very prosperous in whatever it is that you're working towards because this came out right next to the Three of Pentacles. So if you have started a business, if you are launching a business, whatever you've been mastering, whatever skills you've been honing, trust and believe that your wish fulfillment is coming true because the divine is saying dreams, don't forget them. So this dream that you didn't forget about, this dream, this passion that you had, that you started to answer and used as fuel to get out of this dark night of the soul energy, 
is, is absolutely going to garner some sort of prosperity, some sort of success, some sort of wish fulfillment. And somebody is definitely going to feel left out in the cold because they're going to sit back and witness you coming into this wish fulfillment, this success, this abundance. And this is that person that was trying to juggle you, that was confused and conflicted, trying to choose multiple options. But I feel like somebody's definitely up in their head and they're remembering better times and they're beating themselves and, and, you know, they're beating themselves up for it because this is mental conflict also. And it's because you're having some sort of victory, some sort of breakthrough. And I'm hearing Baba Ogun, Archangel Mikael. Things are looking, looking brighter. You've made wise choices. You're getting the recognition. You're getting the success, promotions, awards. You're also, you know, look at this. And somebody's sitting there with deep regret, remorse, crying over spilled milk, singing their coulda, shoulda, wouldas, wishing that you would hold them now. And they may come back trying to get you to feel sorry for them because hold me now is somebody who, you know, uses emotional manipulation. But I feel like you guys are going to have to be mindful of that because the divine is telling you blocka, blocka, blocka. Because this person is definitely planning, plotting, scheming, and not by themselves with a bunch of haters. They could even have their karmic, their freaking, you know, the damn other woman, other man also conjuring up plans to take you out. But you are definitely headed in a wonderful, new, beautiful beginning. I feel like a lot of you have already put your foot down and you've definitely blocking out the negativity and you don't care about words you care about actions but you have a lot of wish fulfillment coming in you have abundance you have prosperity the success things are moving forward in a positive direction in your life i feel like a lot of you are going to be treating yourselves to a very luxurious gift but i definitely get the sense of independence stability security building you know on a more solid foundation but I feel like this is your hard work paying off. As I said, that spider definitely represents hard work. Spiders work hard. Have you ever literally watched a spider, you know, weave a web? It's, it's very intricate and it's very interesting. But this is what you all have been doing. And I feel like you've been spiritually guided and divinely protected to stay focused on what you got going on and to not be distracted by this past person and their antics and their attention whorism because they're just they're childish. They're immature and they feel entitled and they're narcissistic and you have no time for that because you are on to bigger and better things. I feel like this confliction, this conflict, this competition, this confusion, this battle, this opposition that is trying to come in to cause confusion. Please take note of that. Take a snapshot of this and realize that this is just someone, you know, playing games and manipulating you, trying to get you stuck on that, that emotional roller coaster ride of confusion. And they're coming in very deceptive. And then they're going to sneak off. But you're like, aha, aha. And you're going to cut that shit off because you ain't got no time for the bullshit. But beautiful Scorpios, I hope that this reading resonated with you all. If you found that it is, please be, if you don't, found, listen, Mercury Retrograde got me stumbling on my words. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe, and definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. If you are new here, I hope that you stay a while. And if you are returning, my beloved Scorpios, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Thank you for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, don't fall for the okie doke, Scorpios. Do not fall for the okie doke because somebody's studying you, watching you, and trying to strategize a plan. Remember Diary of a Madman came out, and that dig it, um, that's the grave diggers. So they're trying to dig you a grave, but you got to be smart enough to let them fall into the grave they're digging for you. Ashe. So peace, love, and light. Have a blessed day.